Well, first I remember laughing because, but it, it wasn't an outside laugh, it was more in my head. Um, and I thought, oh my God, I am so in Texas because the lady, um, I don't know if it was a nurse or whoever it was, but she called me and she said, we got your pathology report back and it is the cancer. And I just remember, the cancer. <laughs> and I was like, oh, and then I was like, holy cow, wait a minute, she's talking about like cancer in my body. Um, so it was pretty overwhelming. Um, it was complete like paralyzing fear. And I remember trying to talk to my dad and tell my dad and I couldn't even say the word. The services that we provide on the mobile health units are related to early detection of cancer and risk reduction for cancer and heart disease. The goal behind the first mobile unit was to provide access for women to receive mammograms. And then as the program grew, we saw that women needed more than just mammography. And so I believe it was in the late 90s, maybe 2000, that we thought, you know, providing pap smears on the mobile unit. Because if you're getting a mammogram, you're also needing other services. We do all kinds of screening on the mobile. Um, what we do a lot of is screening mammograms. Women who basically just want their breasts checked, not because they necessarily have an imminent problem, but because they just want to know everything's okay, because that's the beauty of screening mammograms, is we find something early before there really is a problem. Um, they also have complete head-to-toe physical examinations. They're getting their weight, their blood pressure, they're getting their blood drawn, they're getting um, um, examined head to toe, including breast, uh, pelvic exam, pap smear, rectal examination. Whatever a woman needs, she gets a comprehensive physical examination. She may be getting a colon kit, um, and we also do screening for osteoporosis, which is bone loss. Uh, we're connecting women not just to screening mammograms, which is a life-saving test, but also improving the health of their entire families. I just feel so blessed that I was here in the Metroplex and that Cufferly was here um, and, and that there are organizations like this out there that provide this service for women um, you know, who don't have insurance and need to have the care. A few weeks ago, I was having a bad day on the mobile. Our mobiles are, some of them are almost 10 years old or over, so sometimes in the morning they don't start or the air conditioning is broken, or any number of things. My first patient comes in, and I knew that I had to kind of get my decorum and take care of her in a professional and appropriate and kind way, but I was frazzled. She stopped, and she grabbed my face, and she said, muy amable. In Spanish, muy amable means, you are so kind. And I started to cry immediately because, you know, I had come in a little stressed. And for someone to say, I am so kind. But the thing about that, that I thought immediately was, I am not so kind. It's the women and the men who give me this money to come on this mobile, to give you this service, to make you feel well. I am not so kind. It is you that is so kind to give me the resources to take care of this woman. Muy amable. You are so kind. Muy amable.